game. And each of you are going to reach inside the bag, take a single tile, keep it to yourself, don't show anyone else, and in a minute I'm going to have you deposit them on this tray as you walk back to your seat. Fair enough? Yeah. I feel as though to get into the spirit of this game I should change my words slightly, so uh, I entreat that you take this uh, satchel of graphemes <laughs> and, uh, and shake it paroxysmally. <laughs> Bravo! That's good. <laughs> now, uh, now uh, delve into the satchel and extract a singular grapheme for your own ocular pleasure, not other. And uh, please reciprocate with the satchel down the line till seven of you have done thusly. <laughs> Excellent. And Jonathan, would you be so kind as to join me over sure, here? Sure. Please, thank you very much, Jonathan. Well, right over here, please. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Jonathan, uh, as I riffle through the folia, by acclamation of cessation, bid me cease at whichever temporal singularity you like. So you're going to flip and I'm going to stop. Gotcha. <laughs> so, perfect. Uh, now take the um, ligneous accreted graphite stylus <laughs> uh, and inscribe a small circle approximately the dimensions of a pecuniary pittance representing the value of a decimated dollar arbitrarily in C2. But just draw a small circle without looking yet. <laughs> this is much harder work than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, without looking, a small circle a small from circle. underneath. Oh. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Good. I'll take this and mark the page here. I'll come back to you if you will. Good. Shall I hold this? Please. Naturally, <laughs> as this pride to radio may be already perspicacious to you. Very good. And back to your seat, please. While words may be diverting and pulchritudinous, they can, if overused, cognitively perturb, but also be a pleonastic and intellectual fardel to the auditor. <laughs> I said fardel. <laughs> Hyperbrobding, Nagian words make the elocutionist seem pompous and egotistical. They can alienate the audience or bewilder the listener to an aphasic stupor, as is evidenced by our current endeavors. <laughs> While it may be a salutary exercise to be well-versed in the vocabulary of one's language, I think our speech ought to concatenate around linear Lilliputian utterances when uh, casually conversing with others, no? Small words. <laughs> Jonathan, would you be so kind as to open the book to the chosen lexical sign? Okay. And find the encircled word? It's my fervent hope that through the sesquipedalian demonstration of a frivolous con, I've successfully rendered my intention that whenever possible, one should eschew obfuscation. <laughs> what was it? The word is lobster. Word. Wow. <laughs>